welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. I know this isn't my usual setup, um, but I don't really have a usual setup. I just put my camera wherever I feel like filming and then I film. But anyways, I was writing an article for my blog. I'm going to link it all down below. And it's called Five Reasons to Ignore Your Fears and Live Your Dreams. And for me, this is something that I've always struggled with. I was a very shy child. I was a very shy kid when I was growing up. Um, and I always felt like that limited me from doing certain things that I always wanted to do. And as I got older, I realized that, you know, I can't live my life this way forever. Like, I have to learn to communicate with others. I have to go out and be in social set settings. And, you know, when you're an introvert, it's very difficult to be in social settings, especially around people that you don't know. Like, I'm easy to, I can have a conversation with anybody, but it, it takes me a while to, like, break down those walls and just have conversations with everybody. But the reason why I'm saying this is because some of these um, internal... What, you, what am I looking for? Some of these internal things that you have can also be limiting to you actually accomplishing your dreams. So here are my top five reasons to ignore your fears and live your dreams. And I'm going to be looking back and forth because I have my computer right here and I want to make sure I'm getting all this stuff accurate. So number one, no one will follow them for you. And that's the absolute 100% truth. Nobody's gonna follow your dreams for you. Nobody's gonna push you to do your dream to um, go live your dreams if you don't do it for yourself. If you're not gonna do it for yourself, nobody's gonna do it for you. And the truth is that people all have their own dreams and their own goals that they want to accomplish as well. So they're not gonna waste the time trying to tell you every five seconds if you want to be a ballerina that you should go to ballet class or something. You know, you have to give yourself that motivation and just do it. Just do it. There's no better time than now to do it, so just do it, like Nike says. Um, the second uh, reason to ignore your fears and live your dreams is to prove everyone wrong. And this is one of those things that I've learned um, to do. I'm the kind of person who, whenever people tell me that I can't do something, I'm gonna prove them wrong. Like, I don't give a shit. I will prove you wrong. Uh, when I first joined the um, the reserve, I'm in the reserve, so I'm in the Air Force Reserve. When I first joined the, the Air Force, nobody thought I could make, make it through boot camp. And honestly, when I got there, that's like a whole other story. I'm going to do a video on that. But when I got there, I was just like, yo, I could do this. I'm not the best runner in the world. I can't do push-ups to save my life. I'm not like a person that likes to be in a gym. But at the same time, there's always something in my brain that makes me want to prove you wrong. And if you want to live your dreams, you have to be able to prove all your naysayers wrong. I know we all have those people in our family that says, you know, those soul suckers, I like to call them soul suckers, you know, that are in our family that always tell us, you can't do this, you know, you can't, why are you wasting your time doing this? Why are you not working a regular job? Why don't you get a regular job? And you have to prove all those soul suckers wrong. There's no better feeling of like sheer accomplishment than when you feel you prove everybody in your family wrong and usually people who are the ones that are like trying to drain the life out of you are always the ones that are too scared to do um the things that they see that you're doing for the for yourself and um, and that's that's the honest to god truth the third reason i want to talk about is Working a regular job that you do not like should not be your forever. It should not be your end all be all. It should not be the one thing that you're going to do for the next 40 years of your life until you retire. Working a regular job or working a job that you hate should not be your final stop or your final destination. Okay, so you were, you went to school and you studied, I don't know, you studied math and you decided to be an engineer or something. If you don't like being an engineer, you always wanted to be a guitarist or something, go take guitar lessons, you know. Working a job that you do not like should not be your end all, be all. Especially for everybody out there that are, you know, really young. You have so much time to learn so much. Like, you have so much time to learn, to grow, and to build, and... You know, once you have a regular job or you have a job that you do not like, you feel like you're stuck or that's your end all be all, that should not be your end all be all. And I'm, I'm telling you this, this is not your end all be all. I went through like so many jobs before, before it's not even funny. Typical millennial, I know. Um, but 
if you don't like something change it the fourth thing um i want to say is it will make you proud and i know it sounds super corny but the truth is when you actually go out and work towards your goals and your dreams and your passion it makes you proud you feel this overwhelming sense of accomplishment you feel like wow i'm actually doing something and i love it like i'm doing something and i love it and i could possibly get paid for it the end all be all it's just everything and one of the things that i believe i've heard this saying a lot before i'm not sure the first person i've heard it from but it said that when you're doing something that you're passionate about and that you love and that you always wanted to do you will never feel like you're working a day in your life so if you feel like you want to do start a YouTube channel or you want to start a blog or you want to I don't know go skiing or whatever just go out there and do it just go out there and do it and trust me once you get it done and you're actually working towards doing whatever you want to do then you feel this immense self-confidence you feel this immense self, -self accomplishment it's absolutely amazing I can promise you that and the last thing I want to talk about and I like to say this a lot um, is because you only live once you only live once YOLO <laughs> you only live once you only get one time on this entire planet to live your dreams you only get this one time on this entire earth to do all the things that you can and want to do. You do not want to be at age 90 saying, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda, or I wish I did this, or I wish I did that. You don't want to be that person at all. So if there's something that you've always wanted to do, or you always wanted to create like your own business, or you wanted to start something new or whatever, do it. If you're in college and you are in your last semester and you decided I don't really want to do this degree anymore, graduate first and then you go back and do whatever else you want to do. Um, but that's all I wanted to say. It's never too late to live your passion. It's never too late to go after your dreams and fears are just you know, this thing that we have to learn to get over in order to accomplish your dreams. But that's all I want to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching my, my video. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my channel. You guys could check my blog out. You guys could check that out. Um, I'll leave all my social media links below. I'll leave everything down below in the description box. Uh, guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like more videos like this. And I'll be back uh, with more. Thank you guys so much, and have a great day. Bye!